you've already seen the effects on your nightly news, most notably from the weatherman. They stand in front of a map pointing out storms and temperatures, but they don't even look at the map. In fact, it's only some blue or green wall. You've seen it behind the scenes clips of your favorite movies on DVD. An actor is in a studio and everything around them is green or blue. The aftershot shows them on location in some exotic or fantasy-like environment. How is this done? These are called chroma key effects, where you can designate a certain color to be transparent, allowing you to see a different picture or video in the background show through. Did you know that you can create these in Video Studio Pro? Video Studio accomplishes this by making a color you choose in any clip that's in an overlay track transparent. Have you noticed that you never see that bright blue or bright green of those screens anywhere else in the scene? If it was there, it would probably also be transparent. You can also purchase green and blue screen kits at your local camera store, or buy a solid color sheet and try it yourself, or even purchase stock clips that have solid colored backgrounds that you can make invisible. You can also frame your clips with decorative edges or at a border. But don't confuse these techniques with video filters, which are effects applied to the clip such as color, blur, and lighting. Let me show you how chroma key effects are accomplished in Video Studio. Let's first begin with a border effect, where I've dropped a video clip into my first overlay track, which puts this clip on top of the clip in the main window. Notice the overlaid clip displays in the smaller window. This assumes that you don't want this to completely cover the main clip, otherwise you just put it in the main track, right? But you can resize it if you wish just by grabbing the corners or right-clicking and choosing an option. One of the best features of using Video Studio is that appropriate tools always present themselves when you choose a particular clip. In this case, selecting the overlay clip displays my overlay tools. I simply click Mask and Chroma Key and use the up arrows to create, then increase the size of my border. And I'll also add a color. Easy. Adding a mask instead is just as easy. In this case, where I added the border, I'll instead click on Apply Overlay Options. Under the Type drop-down, choose Mask Frame, and simply choose a choice from the generous collection that comes with Video Studio. And yes, you can actually create your own mask frames, but that's for another tutorial, so keep checking back. Now, to create a transparent effect, let's use a better clip. And instead of using mask frame, choose chroma key. Notice Video Studio actually already chooses a color to be transparent based on the dominant color in the clip. If it chooses the incorrect color for you, choose the eyedropper and then click in the region you would like to be invisible and that color will be set here. Or choose a range of that color selection based upon similarities by adjusting this slider here, if you so choose. So really, once you have a suitable video clip, all the rest is quite simple. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.